This presentation is brought to you by the following. Flickers Tax Service. With tax season just around the corner, visit Flickers Tax Service in Taylorsville, Mississippi. Providing expert knowledge on all returns from 1040 EZs to corporations as well as payroll. Flickers Tax Service. Call 601-785-6900. Southeastern Baptist College. Empowering students to reach their spiritual, academic, and athletic potential. Discover the difference at your hometown college. Southeastern Baptist College, equipping the saints. Hello, listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in to the very first episode of NEJ Tiger Talk. I'm your host, Kinsley Keys, broadcasting live from Walker's Dairy Bar. Walker's has served tasty, high-quality food to the Northeast Jones and surrounding communities since 1977. I sincerely thank Walker's Dairy Bar owners, Kim and William Walker, for welcoming the broadcast in their wonderful establishment. I broadcast live here at Walker's Dairy Bar every Tuesday at 11.30, so tune in, or if you can, come by and enjoy a gut lunch and listen in on the show firsthand as I chat with Northeast Jones head coach Keith Braddock and the player of the game. So now let's turn our attention to Coach Braddock and the player of the game against Franklin County senior middle linebacker Ben Knight. Coach Braddock, how's it going? Good, good. Glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Thanks to uh, Walkers, William, and uh, and Kim for for having us and hosting this this event. And thank you for for all you do for our for our student athletes. Okay. It's a pleasure, Coach. So uh, first off, you know, congrats on starting the season in the win column with a thirty three to six victory over the Franklin County Bulldogs. So after looking at the game, what are your thoughts about the way your team performed? Well, I, I thought for a first game, the, the kids did really well. Uh, they worked hard this off season, and uh, after going through some tough times uh, last year, they were they were eager to get back out there. They worked really, really hard. And we got good kids and good folks out here, and uh, I thought that um, I thought they played uh, the way they've been practicing and the way they've been working in the off season. And and you know, for a first uh, for a first game, uh, it was pretty. It was a pretty clean game uh, from from penalties. We didn't have any turnovers. Um, against a you know against a good Franklin County team, they're traditionally really good, uh, a lot like a lot like us. Been kind of up and down the last couple of years, but they're 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 really good with some good players. And uh, Coach Smith Hart does a good job with uh, with those boys, and he'll he'll get that thing turned around. Okay. So, um, is there any certain look that the Bulldogs are giving you that allow the offense and defense to to move the ball consistently? Well, I, I think um, offensively, we you know. We're going to be strong in the run game. We feel like that's going to be our strength, and um, I think our, you know, our our endurance and and the ability to play multiple players kind of kind of wore them down late, uh, and just our commitment, you know, just our commitment to it. So I don't think there was anything special you know, we did or they did. Um, now defensively, um, we showed some signs of making some plays, but but they also they got after us pretty good, and uh, they they moved the ball a time or two, but we were able to. We kind of bend but not break. We were able to get them, uh, get them on the ground in third downs, and uh, create a couple of turnovers that, that helped. Okay, and indeed, I will say those turnovers uh, definitely helped. So, can, you know, hats off to those um, defensive players who you know came up with those stops and you know created those turnovers. You know, that's that's really huge. You know, they, they say that the defense can stop you and score as well. So it's better to have a good a good defense and offense. But I mean, from what I saw. Friday night looks great on on both sides of the ball. So you know, hats off to to you and the coach as well as the players for you know going out there and taking everything that you guys do in practice and just displaying it on the field. And so I must mention, I did notice that during the game there were longer than normal um, discussions among the refs after uh, penalties were called. Uh, can you kind of explain what that was all about? Yeah, I, I don't. You know, I don't get it too much. Talk, talking about refs, but it but it was their first game too, first game of the year too, and uh, I don't know if they had some new members on the on the crew uh, that they were with, but it but but you're right, it was a little slower and it it, it didn't it didn't seem to have a, a good flow to it. I guess the and there might have just been some some questionable calls. Uh, I, I feel pretty blessed that we didn't we didn't have a lot of penalties, but uh, you know a lot of times they have to meet and discuss, you know. Uh, what the right call is and things like that. So I, I guess that was that was the case. Like I said, I don't know if that crew had, had been together, you know, for a while or they had new members and they were just kind of, you know, wanted to make sure they get it right and, and clarify, um, I guess, the, you know, the call. Plus you got your, your heat timeouts, you know, um, early in the year like this at the, at the six-minute mark, they always break you for heat. So, so yeah, it, it did seem like it uh, 
it, it took a while to get the game over with. Yeah. And you know, you're right about that. I mean, every, I guess every year you have, they have new additions to the fish shooting crew. So it just probably just takes some use to, you know, getting the, the new guys and acclimated. And, and most times, you know, those crews, I mean, they're, you know, part of, you know, different companies. I'm not really sure how the officiating thing works, but I guess it's just like getting used to a, a, a new co-worker and just, you know, when the ref makes a call, you go to the head ref and the head ref or when he wants to make sure that, you know, he saw what he saw and make sure it's the right call and things like that. But, I mean, it, you, say it's, you know, no big deal. The first game of the season, I'm pretty sure things, you know, the season progresses, you know, you know it'll get better, it'll get more efficient. So, you know, that's that. Now, um, also talk about how effective um, it was as far as the game situation, um, having your new coaching additions and Coach Cochran and Coach Milner. Yeah. Well, we got three new guys. we got those two guys who are former Northeast Tigers. Um, and then the third guy is Coach Issue. They, they all did a, a really good job. Um, any, anytime you get, you get guys like uh, Coach Milner, who's been a head coach, and obviously a coordinator, Coach Cochran, who's been a, been a head coach and a coordinator, they're, they're, they're really good – coaches but they also can help you with a lot of you know administrative stuff and a lot of head coach responsibility stuff you know you don't have to necessarily go make a list every day because we need to get this this and this done those guys you know understand because they've been in these situations so they can they can help you you know uh handle handle certain situations without uh without you having to spell it out so it was uh it was a great great relief from you know kind of i would say an administrative standpoint but coaching wise they uh they bring a lot to the table. They were really good players when they were here, and at a great time at Northeast. And they, uh, they've, uh, they've embraced our kids. Our kids love them. They, they've, they've, they've done a good job. It's been a, it's been a great mesh, and uh, they, they, they definitely, they definitely uh, are helping us out. And I'm glad they're Tigers. Yes, sir. And um, one thing, one thing that I'll say, noticing from the sideline, how well the kids, you know, respond to the coaches, and how you know effectively those coaches are able to, you know, capture. The players' attention. I was just impressed, you know, on the, the sideline. You know, Coach Milner. I mean, he had the board up there drawing out the plays and you know explaining to him, you know, you know how it's going to work, where the players need to be, and just you know, you can tell from the look on the players' faces, you know, they 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 were in tune to it, and that's that's just things that you like to see. And as well as um, you know, Coach Milner as well. I mean, just very good with the athletes, very good with the kids, a very great man. So it's just, I really think any time that you have great assistant coaches. You know, that complements the head coach as well because, I mean, it's all the system. Sure. So this, uh, that was really great to see that. And so also on offense, and they did a great job of, you know, getting in the end zone and on uh, two runs by Tony Barnes and a, a touchdown by Zachary Dice and um, player of the game, Ben Knight. Um, talk about the defense and this ability to not only shut out the Bulldogs in the first half but to uh, score off a turnover by Cole Thomas. Well, it's, it's always big when you can uh, – when you can – when you can score on defense, okay, it's always big. Uh, and then the second thing, or probably the, the first thing, is you know if you don't allow them to, to get many points. Um, I, I thought I thought the kids played really hard. We uh, we got a long way to go, and we know that. But uh, we got great kids, man. They, they they try to do exactly what we ask them to do. And uh, you know it's it's not every game, and just like the first game, that we're going to be the biggest, strongest, the fastest. But we got tough kids at Northeast, and they try to do what you ask. And I, I was really really proud of them. Um, you know Ben's here with us today, and he's a he's a tremendous young man. Um, I tell people he's an old school Northeast Jones football player, just tough, physical, says yes sir, makes great grades. Um, he, he does a good job. He uh, he was able to score his first touchdown. He plays wow. on a goal line package. We put him in at fullback. You just put a big old tough guy up there and run into somebody. But we accidentally give him the ball, you know, so he gets his first touchdown. Then Cole got his on defense, right. and uh, Ben had a big Ben and Michael, uh, the other inside linebacker, had a big stop on fourth down. So uh, the kids did good, and like I said, anytime you can score on defense, it's uh, it's always a plus, no doubt. Yes, sir. And so um, finally, um, so at home in the jungle this week, I'm hosting Cross County rival West Jones Mustangs. Now, what are your thoughts and emotions about this? Um, as this is a historically big game, one of the biggest rivals that draws a, one of the biggest game crowds in Jones County. What are your thoughts going into that game and facing such an opponent? Well, we're excited. We're looking forward to the opportunity. We know they're uh, they're a great team. They were the the five A uh, South champion last year, and they got a lot of players back. Coach Pearson and his staff, they do a great job, man. They really do. They uh, he's got a great staff, and, uh, and 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 they coach those kids up. They got you know good players, and and we know it's a big challenge. But but our kids will be ready to go, and we're we're we'll play hard, and we'll uh, you know 
we'll we'll give ourselves a chance to win. Um, it's it's exciting. You know that game was important. Um, 20 years ago, or ever how long it was when we graduated, I got an old classmate over there, Keith Turner, when we played. Um, you know, it was important then. It was important 10, 15 years before that, and it's important this week. Uh, our kids understand it. We got a lot of respect for those guys. I talked to our guys yesterday about having a, you know, a good, clean rivalry, and uh, I think we'll do that, and you know, hope our fans will. I know they will. But it's it's an exciting time. We'll, we'll both be one and zero, um, and I think Friday night we'll have a we'll have a good crowd. The weather's supposed to be a little cooler. And, um, hopefully, we'll get to see get to see some some good football. Exactly, and um, no, if you are the listeners out there know, but I'm originally from so so Mississippi, so a lot of ties to to West Jones. Most of my family went to went to school there, so it's be kind of an emotional game for me. But you know, I, I gotta be honest with you, I, I'm a bleed black and gold. So I mean, That's yeah, <laughs> thank you, sir. So I mean, you know, like you said, the Mustangs. I mean, they're a good, they're a good, talented team, but you know, once a tiger, always a tiger. So, um, thank you for the good words, Coach. So, guys, we're going to, our listeners, we're going to uh, take a brief second to get a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back to talk with our week one player of the game, Ben Knight. This presentation is brought to you by the following. Flickers Tax Service. With tax season just around the corner, visit Flickers Tax Service in Taylorsville, Mississippi. Providing expert knowledge on all returns from 1040 EZs to corporations as well as payroll. Flickers Tax Service. Call 601-785-6900. Southeastern Baptist College. Empowering students to reach their spiritual, academic, and athletic potential. Discover the difference at your hometown college. Southeastern Baptist College, equipping the saints. All right, listeners, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to NEJ Tiger Talk. We're broadcasting live here from Walker's Dairy Bar, right down the street from Northeast Jones High School. We've been here to talk with uh, Coach Braddock about his thoughts about um, the last week's game against the Franklin County Bulldogs and the upcoming game this Friday against the Cross County rival West Jones Mustangs. Now we're going to get a little talk a little bit with Ben Knight, who was awarded with the player of the game last week. So Ben did a, a really great job, got in on offense, got a touchdown, got a lot of stops on defense. So really, uh, really great job. And, um, ben, so how does it feel to, to come out with a victory, you know, at the, on the first game of the season? And um, what are you, your thoughts about the defensive performance? Oh, man, it felt good to get a win finally. We, last year we didn't see much of that. And we worked hard this off season. We got after it and went out there Friday and just did what we were supposed to do. How we were coached and felt really good. So, um, how does it feel getting in the, the, the win call? I mean, does that uh, do you feel like it boosts the team's confidence going into this week's game against West Jones? After any win, you feel like you can beat anybody after that. So, I feel like we'll have a good chance to win this Friday and. I know that all my teammates feel the same way, and we're just real excited about the opportunity Friday. And I agree agree with you there on that one, Ben. And I'm, one thing, one thing that I really noticed about the defensive performance, and one thing that I was really looking for, I mean, as opposed to last year, and even I uh, talked to Coach about this. Like you guys, you guys would, last year, you guys would come out, play really hard, and. Just not really sure what ha- what would happen after, after during the second half, but I mean that game Friday, you guys came out second half. I mean you can tell you guys were still amped, you guys were still pumped up, you guys were still motivated, and so I'm, I'm going to see how that's going to translate onto the field. And so you guys, I mean, the same performance, creating turnovers. I mean, getting in the end zone, coming up with stops, and I mean, Ben, you were just all you were all over the field, man. So I just you know hats off to you, and then you, the rest of the linebacker core, you guys are just. You guys were just on, and Coach, he's, you know, spoken really highly about, you know, the defensive line, the linebackers, as well as the secondaries. So, um, hats off to you guys. So, 